Hello special humans. I want to jump on super dirty lens. My whole head is full of oil. Um, neem oil to help me with my scalp. Um, anyways, I want to jump on a second time to talk about Ayurvedic lifestyle, Ayurvedic cleansing and so forth. I already did a part one on this. Um, which you also find in my IGTV journey as well as on the website under the Ayurveda cleanse section as this is a reoccurring event and in the first video it's I think 13 minutes we just get really clear on what an Ayurveda cleanse is and what it isn't whom it is for everyone by the way um, what benefits it has why it's super easy to do and what's the intention and science behind it as well as what's involved why we do it when we do it and so forth so that's a really great um, educational little snippet to tune in to just to familiarize yourself with what a cleanse is um, any Ayurvedic cleanse basically but this video I want to speak a little more directly about this cleanse journey you can choose to go through with me this spring um, the enrollments are closing very soon we're starting on the 11th of October this year 2020 but Ayurveda cleansing is also a reoccurring journey um, so I'm going to be running those immersions or those um, online events guided five weeks every spring and every autumn so it's going to be accessible to everyone who's ideally in the southern hemisphere it still works if you're in the northern hemisphere but um, the seasons will be swapped around for you but it's still similar principles um, anyhow so my intention is to like I said to make it a reoccurring event it will be and but the intention is to have people come back again and again so while I haven't worked out the entire investment thing and so forth um, reoccurring or cleansers who are coming back seasoned cleansers will receive discounts on any future cleansers up to 50% um, after having done an initial one with me um, the reason being is that cleansing in Ayurveda like I said in the first video it's not just a you know it's not let me sort out the dog and take off some layers it's so nice and sunny here let me show you so beautiful So, yes, cleansing is not just a little fad thing that where you, you know, the idea is not to kind of just bash, bash your body for the whole year and then just have this once a lifetime kind of seasonal um, or once, once a year kind of cleanse and reset. But Ayurveda is all about balance, which means you can still have all the naughties, you can still be human, you know, eating and food is a massive part of our human experience about the pleasure of being a human being in this physical world, right? So it's really not about deprivation, it's about finding balance. And part of finding sustainable balance is to establish a regime that works for you and your unique body type that allows you to really optimize your digestion and just your internal and external health of your body mind and spirit so that we're not you know coming from rock bottom and try to reset ourselves every now and then but that we really raise our normal bar still have all those you know have the piece of cake and go to those birthday parties with incredible dinners but do our, our intention is to sustainably know how to best look after our bodies and selves by eating the right foods at the right time and just achieve sustainable balance and so those cleanses are part of that okay I've talked to a lot of people who said oh yeah you know Ayurveda cleanse been there done that I know everything about Ayurveda and with all respect Ayurveda cleanses are a part of an entire medicine system of an entire lifestyle system okay Ayurveda is a way of life there's so much philosophy to it it's so all-encompassing literally um, it's not just a cleanse it's not just a diet fad you know um, cleansing is literally just one one little aspect of a whole a whole science that offers the full spectrum from physical treatments to punch a karma with which you can treat cancer and so forth to full lifestyle and diet and self-care protocols to mental health to gut health to everything okay and to like daily life um, the purpose of Ayurveda is to really optimize your human experience by optimizing your the health of your physical body your gut and correlation um, with your mind and therefore be able to master your emotions to become your highest self 
um, okay so cleansing is just part of that so within this five week journey I think I mentioned some of this in this first video snippet I took it's not gonna be five weeks of cleansing but the idea is another principle in Ayurveda is prepare do recover and that's how we keep balance you can do all the things you can eat the cake you can go to the party but prepare do the thing recover and that's how you maintain balance and balance while incorporating all this little naughties here and there and really indulging in pleasure where you want to you know and so that's the idea with this journey so we're going to have colds at the start or end of every week this round is going to be sunday where we're going to get clear on our practical goals for the day for the week ahead sorry so okay cool these are the food practices we're going to focus on these are the lifestyle practices we're going to incorporate herbs and so forth then after you get a chance to ask questions that i answer after the call you will receive um any relevant information handouts food lists at times um recipes at times and inspirations and so forth you will get check-ins reminders and accountability emails throughout the week to you know to make it easy to still stay on track you're literally going to get all information all pointers any support you need before the cleanse during the cleanse week and after the cleanse as well as us incorporating not only cleansing because again that's only part of what ayurveda has to offer but we're going to get really crystal clear on how we ayurvedically and sustainably support our gut health throughout the whole year okay with all those birthday parties and naughties and so forth um, establishing a good foundation foundational knowledge and a basis for having a healthy gut and working in harmony with our body we're going to establish our main principles having to do with that and detoxification and ayurveda um, and then we're going to get into you know how to best live in sync with the current season and that depends on which cleanse you participate in so in this upcoming one in the spring cleanse we're going to learn the ins and outs and the uh, benefits of a spring diet okay and how to best live in sync with this season right now and saying that speaking of food another common misconception i came past um, came by so far is that people confuse Ayurveda with Indian or with Indian food and it couldn't be more far from it just because Ayurveda originated in India it's not indoctrinated by um, Hinduism or by religion as such neither is it bound to a particular culture Ayurveda is about exploring what works for you as a unique individual considering your unique mind body constitution your unique um, ancestral lineage and genetics your unique environment it's very different growing up in Europe than what it is in India than what it is in Australia we all have different dietary requirements and preferences that work best for our body according to our genetics our lineage and our unique makeup okay this is what ayurveda is about so even though you might see it associated with a lot of indian looking dishes and so forth because it has originated there um that's really not what it is as a westerner you will find a western diet that works perfectly for you that is still ayurvedic as long as it agrees with your body type and that's the ayurvedic part about it okay um yeah so back to what we're gonna learn um, we're going to really get into the spring diet, lifestyle and self-care practices, how to best support yourself holistically in your life, in your daily life, okay? Go through the cleanse and cleansing practices to help us transition through those seasons. And then in the remaining five, two weeks um, after the actual cleanse, so two weeks of preparation, one week is the actual cleanse, two weeks is recovery. In those two weeks recovery time, we are going to obviously build our lifestyle and diet back up to normal. So what is normal? A normal diet in a perfect world is a diet that agrees with your personal mind body type at the particular time of the year and it sounds way more difficult than what it is it's really just getting used to natural food sources and knowing where to get your food from if you go to the farmers market it's hundred percent more likely that everything landing in your basket is going to be seasonal because it's local versus going to colds or big supermarket chains okay it's so much easier than what it might seem if it seems overwhelming I do encourage you to come along because Ayurveda is so simple yet profound when to understand more of it and this group program is the ultimate opportunity to uh, <laughs> neem oil on hair so bitter uh, um yeah to learn more about the cleanse and basics of ayurveda and familiarize yourself with this um so yeah and in the last couple of weeks of this cleanse we're gonna like i said establish come back to normal lifestyle and routine and build back up incorporate other foods back into our life again 
and we're going to learn about again integrate properly and embody what we should eat at that time of the year that season that will be um, in November and how do we prepare ourselves for the summer season ahead so we can stay cool and energized and have you know consistent energy don't get heat strokes um, maintain a solid body temperature and just overall equilibrium in our body smooth digestion and everything that comes with it functioning pain free and so forth as the seasons move on so everyone who cleanses with me this spring in the southern hemisphere so the October cleanses every year will entail the spring cleanse and summer preparation and then every autumn cleanse will entail summer cleanse and win some sorry 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 wind that back will entail from summer coming into autumn so autumn then the cleanse and then moving into winter preparation okay so if you cleanse twice a year with me or cleanse twice a year in general we have all seasons and all transitions covered and as you become more seasoned in cleansing, how well behaved is my dog? Um, as you become more seasoned in cleansing, you just really establish this way more sustainable overall balance in your body all year around. And you're also going to really start to embody this foundational knowledge of Ayurveda of how to live in sync with your body, with your natural seasons, within nature's natural seasons at all times and feel your most balanced balanced and best self okay beautiful so if this is intriguing you'd like to learn more slide into my um direct messages and i'm happy to answer any questions that come up otherwise for enrollments and more information hit the link in my instagram bio under a vedic seasonal cleanse or you also find that on my website www.elevatemindbodythrive.com under courses and events ayurvedic seasonal cleanse and i love to see you in our cleanse journey